Hello guys, welcome again to my channel Ken the Wiz with me Kennedy. So today I'll be showing you how to create a table of content from your Word document. It doesn't matter which version of Office you're using, be it 2013, 2016, 2010 or other versions. The procedure is the same. This is very applicable to guys working on various reports, reports that have several pages. It becomes very easy for you to go through your document by just a click onto the different sections aligned in your table of content. And if this is your first time being in my channel, please subscribe, hit onto the bell. Hello guys, so this is the document you wanna work with, a 26 page document, uh, you can see it has a table of content, yes, but it is not properly uh, organized, as you can see the pages are not aligned, so I'm going to take you very quickly on how to insert a table of content automatically and with hyperlinks so that you can easily navigate through your document so to start with we'll create a blank page so just on this control enter control enter to page break so that we have a blank page here Let me write table of content. Sorry. So from here, just from the home toolbar, come to we have a standard toolbar here we call the styles. So the styles we have this is where you apply different settings or different formatting for your document. So to open it out, you can use this short arrow here. It will give you the different formats you can apply to a document. And again, you can use this one here to create your own style of choice. So I'll be using this one, the apply styles. And the small window will open. So through your document, you have to note the different parts of your section you want to name or you want to give the heading styles and the subheadings. Like the this one here is the heading, so you just come to the apply styles and give it heading or title. Title one. Come to another one here. Give it title. Is another title. Oh, sorry, this is type to mission statement. This is a subheading. You can give it heading two. There's also heading two. This can be heading two. We give this one uh, heading two. And you have this one as heading one or the title. So guys, every time, each and every time you are applying your different styles, kindly take note of the different part of your document and make sure you give it the styles it requires. So let us work with the few that we've marked. So from there we can just close our window then go back to the space that you created for your session or table of content so from your home toolbar go to the references from the references you have on the left side corner we have the table of content 
so just click on to the small arrow it will show you the different styles for the table of content you can again customize from the custom table of content now from here you can choose to customize by choosing your format from here we have various formats you can choose from from today i'll just work with the classic and the tab leader or the lines i'll choose i'll go with the full line and then since i only have the heading and the subheading let me use two levels two levels then i just click ok and there you go your table of content is automatically inserted so you can see the difference between this table of content and this other one you can see the alignment you can see the alignment from there and this one has the link you can even see it's showing that you can control plus click to follow the link so it's very easy if you want to go to this very part of the document you just come control and click onto the document it will be taken straight to part of the document as it is listed in your table of content or other method that you can use to go through your document you can use the control plus g the go to just control and g combined and now we have to go to where go to page section line or bookmark so for a page you can even say go to page three and then you just click go to it will take you from here our document table page three is now the, our table of content so those are the different ways you can actually use to navigate through your document with ease so stay tuned and wait for another part two where i'll be taking you through yet another interactive session of how to insert multiple table of content that is the table of content and the list of figures or the table of figures in the same word document so if this is your first time being in my channel please subscribe onto the channel hit the notification bell give out your comment your suggestion or any of your compliment in the comment box bye bye